thought I'd do a quick review on these uh, electric e-bike. This is the electric XP. Really like these bikes. Thought I'd do a quick review. First thing I wanted to say is I know a lot of people are talking about the derailers. The derailer guard is uh, getting bent in shipment, it looks like, and both of ours were too. All you got to do is bend that out by hand and then uh, it'll shift into sixth and seventh gear. That's how ours were. No big deal. I did it by hand. Just pop it out a little bit and it'll go right into sixth and seventh gear. This is my bike here. I blacked it out. I kind of like that look. I took the fenders off of it to make it look a little more rugged like a dirt bike. And we did swap our seats out. These are the gel seats. The ones that came with it are really nice seats, but they're just a little bit hard for me. After a few, uh, a few miles, my rear was getting a little sore, so I had to swap it out. I had this foam seat already. These are really comfortable seats. I like them. Put my uh, cell phone holder on here. I haven't ridden this much. I've only ridden it like uh, 12 miles. This is my wife's bike. The frames are aluminum. But the fenders are uh, steel. I put my magnet on there and they're steel. Really nice bikes. This one, I had to adjust the derailleur. It wouldn't go into first gear, so I just made a quick adjustment on there, no big deal. And this one as well, the derailleur guard, I had to pull it out. So it fit, shift into sixth and seventh. She has her foam seat on there too. But these are really nice. I really like them. I wish it came with a shock absorber on the front that you could uh, option that in, or I might have to look into putting one on there and make it a little smooth, smoother. With the tires at 30 psi, which is maximum, man, it's it's a pretty rough ride if you hit little bumps. But uh. It's not bad. I lowered I lowered the air pressure down a little bit to keep uh, the ride a little bit smoother. Other than that, I really like these bikes. I've had a couple mountain bikes over the years that I've spent several hundred dollars on. I wasn't really happy with them. These are really comfortable to ride. You sit up a little more upright. We do RVing, so they fold up. I'll probably just put them in my truck like this. Strap them down in the back of the truck so I don't have to unfold them and everything, but... Disc brakes were adjusted perfectly from the factory. I didn't have to do anything with those. There's no uh, rubbing on them. Like I said, the only thing I did is I kind of blacked this out with some vinyl, uh, vinyl decal that I had. I kind of like that look a little better. I like the black. Makes it look like an old style BMX a little bit more. <laughs> nice rack on the back. Like I said, I have, we haven't had a chance to ride them too much. We ordered them in, uh, I think, around mid-June, but boy, we didn't get them until around the 20th of August, I think, 23rd, somewhere in there. So it took a while to get these, but it was worth the wait. I, I'm really happy with it. You can just do the throttle only and kick back and relax, or you can pedal. My wife isn't into bike riding that much, but... I think she's gonna like this. She's ridden it a few times and she's really happy with it. So uh, that's my quick review. Uh, maybe after I ride it a little more, we'll uh, do more in-depth detail review. Anyway, that's it, the Electric XP. Not a bad bike for the money. We'll see how the long-term is. I hope the batteries hold out a long time. So that's it.